What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's kind of hard to open my mouth, but I am excited to bring you today's tutorial. I've been excited about it all week. It is a 1920s half Chelsea grin look and it's super glam in the beginning and then something terrible happens to our flapper girl and she gets part of her face ripped off so you know things happen. But if you want to see how to complete this look, please keep watching. Alright guys, we are starting with the color Taupe Berry from the I Want Candy Too Faced palette. I've really been enjoying this palette and it has such soft, lovely colors. It was working perfectly for my 1920s inspired look. So for the 1920s look, you really had kind of a halo eye um, that was pretty smoky and dark. There were no harsh lines. There weren't any, wasn't any winged liner. It was all very smoky. Um, so I just went over and over with that taupe color until it was the darkness that I wanted it to be. Then I took a pointy fluffy brush and used the color Licorice Rope, which is just a matte black color. And it put it directly into my crease, all the way around into my inner corner and my outer corner, and blended that out with that fluffy brush right into that taupe color. And I did dab a little bit more of the taupe powder on that brush before I blended it out. I'm going to bring it underneath my eye, um, just the taupe color to start with, and then go in with the black and just kind of smoke that out because like I said, you don't want any harsh lines for this look. And then for the halo, we're going to take that fluffy brush again with the color Raspberry Cocoa. It's a really pretty mauve purple color. Um, it's just very dusty, very soft. And then I'm taking a actual pencil liner instead of a liquid liner for a softer look on the eyeliner and I'm going to line completely from the inner corner to the outer corner and then a little bit about three-fourths of the way on my lower lash line as well and then I'm going to smoke it out with that licorice rope color that we used in the crease underneath with um, a fluffy blending brush and bring it up into my crease around my liner and just make sure it's as smoky and diffused as possible because that's all is popular. Next, I'm going to use the Chrissy Teigen and Becca Cosmetics collaboration and the blush color. They didn't use any contour, so just go in with a bunch of blush and then block out your lips with concealer so that you can kind of draw in smaller and pointier lips for this look because in the 20s, they had really defined Cupid's bows and really full bottom lips. So define your Cupid's bow so it's blue. Blah, blah, blah. Define your cupid's bow so it looks like two little mountain peaks um, with a red color and then go over top of it with a plum color so you get a really rich, deep, plummy red, which was super popular back in the 20s. So that's, uh, that's how you get that look on your lips there. And it's, I used a liquid lipstick and a pencil lip liner. And then I popped on some fake lashes that are not very long but very full. Um, the 20s wasn't really about super long spidery lashes, but it was about volume. Now for the Chelsea Smile portion of this tutorial, I'm taking the liquid latex on my spatula and just dipping it in and putting it into a half smile shape all the way up to right below my cheekbone and just bringing it a little bit around my mouth as well so that I can seamlessly blend the latex into the corner of my mouth. And I'm going to start with the base layer. You're going to be cutting this part with scissors, so make it as flat as possible and build it up in an even layer. And then once that dries, and it does take a little bit to dry, please don't try to put paint or makeup on this before it's dry because it will ruin your paintbrushes. So wait until it's completely dry. And I am adding now on the outer layer here a thicker layer of that latex so that it does create that definition between the inside of the torn mouth and the edges. So it's just going to allow you to build your edges up a little bit more. Now with some scissors, I'm going to be cutting that dry latex and rolling it out so that you have a flat lower area and very defined edges to this mouth. I'm using my Makeup Forever Flash Palette Red because it's a nice bright red to start this coloring the latex. And remember to wait till it's completely dry. I'm going to mix it a little bit with some black to add some dimension in that mouth crevice all around the edges. 
And then I'm going to take the Ben Nye Cream Paint in Blood Red and kind of start doing all around the dried edges on the edge and create more definition on the middle with some more black from that Makeup Forever Flash Palette. You're going to want to go all the way around the edge and with that red, you're going to take your finger and kind of smudge it out so that it looks diffuse and like the skin is irritated around that area so you don't have just normal skin and then super angry bloody skin. You want it to kind of blend together and be really diffused so that it looks like irritated, angry skin around the sore on your face. Next, I'm going to go in obviously with fake blood. It's my favorite. On the other end of my spatula, make sure the fake blood is concentrated on the middle part of that Chelsea smile and then just bring it out on the edges a little bit more. watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like it, be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this all the way through the end of the month. Leave your thoughts below in the comments so that I can get back to you and let me know if there's anything you are desperate to see before Halloween is over. So um, be sure to check back tomorrow, even though it's a Saturday, I will have another Halloween tutorial up for you guys. So be sure to check it out and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!